Hey you folks, it's a Matt once again, and I know I'm in a different position, but I'm actually doing some stuff at the same time, and I'm waiting for something to be transferred as well, in the computer and the, the TV and all that. That's why you see this blue on my face. But I figured as I'm doing this, I would do an unpackaging video, thanks to a very nice guy whose username is Dark Metal Spider. Um, I did open it but I have not looked in it yet but I took off the address so that I would not give the guys address but this is the size of the box so I'm definitely curious to see what is in this but before I do I just want to say thank you so much man this is very kind of you to do so uh, very generous and it's always, I mean, whenever someone has sent me a gift, it's always been a very generous thought because who am I? I curse, I talk about videos, you know, or movies, and curse some more, and there's no high production value, so, you know. It's always a very humbling thing when people do that, so thank you so much. He did mention something about there might be a letter, but I'm not sure. I forget where he said the letter was. Because he said read the letter first. And I don't remember where the letter was. Okay, I, I see one letter. Okay, yeah, I see it here. Dark Metal Spire says, if you want to read both letters out loud, that's definitely cool. The two biggest patches are fragile, so please be careful when opening. I honestly really hope that you like everything, Dark Metal Spider. And I guess there's two letters in here. Um, I'll read them last, uh, just because in case he says, oh, they're this and that. To try to give them like more of a reaction, but I definitely will read them. So first off, we have. I don't know what this would be. This is like a cap. Wow, that is really cool. I've never seen this before. It's a cap that has. Oh, that's not doing it justice. It is... The... Blah Remake. And, yeah, this... Let me see if I get away from here. Maybe without the blue. This is very cool. Like, look at this. It's actually maybe I don't need a TV on for that. There you go. Very cool. So it's Kevin Dell and Shawnee Smith escaping from the blah with all these miles on it. That is insanely cool. I'm a huge fan of the blah from 1988. It's one of my favorite films ever. And the fact that, you know, there's a now a cap I have. That is supremely cool. Uh, maybe from time, uh, from time to time, I will wear this hat. Uh, I don't know. Maybe if I talk about hor maybe I talk about like a, maybe if I ever talk about the blob again, I'll wear this cap. But I definitely will wear this. This is a really cool gift. Again. This isn't even doing it justice. But thank you so much, man. That is supremely cool. Keep it still there so I can focus better. I mean, that alone is a very cool gift. Thank you so much, man. That is neat. And. Uh, 
Uh, said the bigger ones are fragile and be careful, so I will. What could this be? The camera was centered. Ah, oh, that's neat. Uh, let me make sure I be careful. Keep all here. <laughs> ah, that's neat. I see a pattern here, which is a very cool pattern. A poster of the blob. It eats you alive. So, never seen this before either. That's very cool. That's really neat. Thank you so much, man. That is really cool. It eats you alive. Thank you so much, man. Nice sturdy frame as well. That's really kind of you, man. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, man. And... The packaging is very, I mean, very uh, careful, which is nice and courteous of you. Thank you. So, I think this is the other fragile one. <laughs> yep, there's definitely a, a connection here because... Wow, this is neat. This is really neat. Be careful on that. Be careful on that. <laughs> wow, that is neat. The laser disc of the blob. I think this will, from time to time, be exchanged with the hard tardy one back there when I do reviews or at least like streams and stuff so this review is sadly sometimes the the poster is over here and it hides it but that is really cool and it's in a nice uh, protector smooth that is really cool I feel like well you have a laser disc I think these are these are neat to look at it's like a neat, um, this is the cover I always remember seeing when I was a kid, as simple as it is. It sold me on the movie. And you have the back there. So I think this is really cool. Really appreciate that, man. Uh, again, I, I, I never had a laser disc player. I wouldn't say I ever want one because the whole that movie's halfway through, then you gotta flip the disc. To me, it seems like a very annoying concept. But I love the look of it. I love the aesthetic of it. It's like it, you know, it's a movie version of an album. Album. So, so yeah, there's definitely a theme. He mentioned there's. Maybe, I don't know if he said it was five or six. Because he mentioned something about it. That's three. Maybe two in here.
Now I wonder if this is blob stuff. Okay, it's Oh, it's a uh... hmm. Some cassette tape called As Born Domanium de Nortis Primordial Forest and Secrets of the Spruce Forest. Hmm. I don't know what these are. Um, I don't have a cassette tape to play them. Uh, hmm. Maybe in the letter they explain what these are, but that's interesting. Yeah, I don't know what these are, so... I have no way to list... Uh, I guess that's maybe the... Oh, is this a... Uh... Huh. What is this a t-shirt? Yeah, it is a t-shirt. Oh, the of the uh, that's cool. It's a t-shirt of what was on the cap. So, Kevin Dillon and Shawnee Smith. That's really cool. That is really neat. The faces of the blob. That was pretty damn neat. Love the blob remake. Trimly underrated. One of the most underrated films of the 80s in my opinion. Definitely. Especially in the horror genre. And I believe. That is it. And that's pretty damn cool man. That's really neat. Just want to make sure I'm not missing anything because I, I get very, you know, I don't want to, I obviously put a lot of time and money. I mean, God, man, could imagine the amount of money this must have cost, man. Damn. Like, holy shit. Like I said, that's really nice of you. Thank you. Excuse the noise, it'll be a pop. So, beware. Okay. Okay. And like I said, I'm going to read the letters. That's the least I could do. Is. Yep, two letters. Letter number one and letter number two. I think he did want me to read these out loud, so that's the least I could do for such pretty generous gifts. So. Okay. So, letter one, March 14th, 2023 is dated. This is Darmel Spider. Hope you're doing well. I finally have everything in hand now, so I can now send you some cool, special things. It's my way of telling you that I truly appreciate and respect you immensely. And I like this with just any YouTuber, as much as I love so many channels. But Matt, you are a true gem of a person, honest and sincere guy. Well, I don't know about that, but... I really do appreciate the sentiment. I truly do. I truly do, man. Be wanting to do something nice for you. Started as me feeling bad. You were reviewing the doll. Uh, the doll. Oh, the doll for me. Yeah, that's right. That movie. 
I just really did not like that movie. But I do so much appreciate that you did. It really meant a lot to me. I mean, this is the least I can do, man. Easily the least I could do. I remember asking you on the live stream what laser disc you had, and I was shot. No one had given you the blob laser disc. I remember telling you that I was restarting my laser disc collection. Well, the blob is one that I have. I was like, yeah, this really belongs to Matt. He would really like this so much, I think. So, from my own restarting collection, I want you to have the Blob 1980 laser disc. Now, I don't think you have a laser disc player. I got super lucky and found a working one at Goodwill for 20 bucks. That's a pretty good deal. I'm so serious. If I get lucky again like that, I'll make sure to grab it and send you one. No. I would say this, man, don't worry about that. Don't worry about sending me a laser disc. Uh, like I said, the for it's not the format I'm interested in, it's the aesthetic. I'm not really interested in the format laser disc, but I love this aesthetic. I love that it's 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 not a poster, but it, it's cool like a poster. I like the feel of it, I like the info on the back, so it's like a it's a VHS tape that looks much cooler than the VHS tape. I just, I love the, the look and aesthetic. So, it is nice to hold in your hand and look at. I don't know how else to put it. It's like, it's a piece of physical history of time. It's a, it's a dead format. So, it's a, it's nostalgic. It's a bit of history. And, like I said, I never want to watch a film on Laserdisc because I don't like the idea that you have to put it in. And halfway through the film, you have to flip it. I, I, I'll just rather watch the Blu-ray or DVD. So no, don't worry about sending me a laser disc player. But this is... I really do like this. This is definitely... Um, uh, I'll probably switch this up with the hard tardy one. Uh, in fact, I will do that. So the next live stream... In fact, the live stream will probably happen be, before I get this uploaded. So people ask it's going to be because of your generosity maybe I'll be lucky a second time around watching a movie on Laserdisc is a million times more epic than a DVD or whatever seriously well that's cool I mean I like I said I prefer blu-ray DVD but I just again you know, I love the aesthetic of it essentially that I had three things made for you I won't say what they are you'll have to open up everything and see I hope that you will like Everything, Matt, you are a true treasure. I'm not that good, but thank you so much. Sorry if I seem a bit gushy or sentimental, but I told you in private messages. You sure you want me to say this? But he did want me to read this, my mental state. I believe, and believe it or not, your videos, reviews, and even live streams have truly been a light to my disastrous mind. You just help me more than you know. And that just really means a lot to me. <laughs> Man. You don't know how much you saying's like people saying that means a lot to me too so the feeling goes both ways I'll say that I know there's people who don't like me that think right now I'm just faking it to get more sh free shit you don't know how much weight that rope just On last note, I'm sorry you didn't like Kiss of the Tarantula and found it boring. I truly love it sincerely, but sorry I bored you so. That being said, I generally enjoyed your review or rant on it. Most epic and sincere. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Anyway, I hope that you will love er everything I've sent. I just appreciate you so much, and I just wanted you to know that. Sorry for my chicken scratch writing. I hope you can read it. It's better than my handwriting, so... And I'm going to put this here because uh, I do keep these. 
if I have a folder of letters that from like years and years ago. Um, actually, let me see if might be over here. from years and years ago so this thing here so again for people who think I'm lying about this uh, this is from Till from Germany a long time ago which I hope the guy's doing well this is from Let's see. Make a pork chop express. Uh, John Zero Cool. Let's see. This is from Corey. Funny enough, this is actually from a guy who doesn't like me anymore. Uh, Cody. Uh, this was actually from a nice guy, Corey, once again. This is a nice guy that sent me autographs, and that was really kind of him. Dustin Keckler, who sadly disappeared. I don't know whatever happened to him. But he just disappeared in the thin air. Uh, David M. David M. Ant Lion Alpha, which I don't know whatever happened to him, um, but yeah, Ant Lion Alpha, right there. Ant Lion Alpha. Yeah, I don't know what happened to him. Like some people just disappear. Like Johnny Who, 1982. Like some people, like then it's like I don't know what what happened to Johnny Who, 1982. Says John from Austin. I'm like, well, I'm in Texas now. Park, nice guy. That sometimes is on Twitter, but I rarely go on Twitter nowadays. Uh, Chris. Uh, this is. He didn't sign this one. Anyway, you, you get the idea. Eric Titus, which is cool because he actually drew. Um, well, actually, that has his address on it, so I don't want to do that to him. He had the. The list goes on. It's all in in this. So letter one, and then letter two. Oh no, this is letter two. Yeah, so yeah, put this in here. 
and put that in there, and then letter two. Hey, Matt, second letter right quick. Not sure if you have a tape player or not, but I run an underground cassette label. Vanescent Spider Records. So that's what these are. And since you like some metal, I think I wanted to share with you my only two releases so far. You may enjoy them. If you don't have a tape player, let me know, and I can either give you band camp coves or I can link you to their respective YouTube videos. I mean I like these but maybe you might, I don't know, but maybe you will. This is honestly not self-promotion, just you really do mean a lot. And so I wanted to share with you those in hopes that you like them. I do not have a cassette player, but yeah if you want to send me a link, feel free. So an underground cassette label I didn't know they did underground cassette labels in 2023. Okay, interesting. And like this is green. I'll definitely keep these because <laughs> to be honest, these are the only cassettes I have. I used to have a bunch, but none of them anymore. But now these are the cassettes I have. One in blue. Uh, so they're metal. Underground cassette label. Vanessa and Spider Records. Okay, I can kind of see there's a label there. It's very pretty small. So you can't really see it. Uh, VSR1 and VSR2. VSR2. And this is VSR1. So. Huh. That is really neat. Alright then. That's cool. No, no problem at all, man. All I can say, man, is thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. It's really cool and kind of you. I mean, you got the laser disc. You got a very cool poster. You got a t-shirt. And don't forget the cap. And I definitely... So, I just say, thanks so much, man. This is a probably generous gifts. And thank you so much for your kindness. Thank you to everyone's kindness. A lot of people have been very cool throughout the, the years. And th that helps a lot. And thank you for your kind words. And to anyone who watches this, just thank you all. Thank you for, I'm not a big YouTuber, far from it. I mean, I'm lucky if a video I did gets 100 views. That's on a good week. I'm lucky if like three people comment. That's a good week. It is how it is. I'll never be. I'll never be the big YouTuber guy. It's just not in the cards for me. So I'm just gonna be honest and sometimes brutal, sometimes brutally honest, sometimes uh, against the grain. Just because I have a difference of opinion. But. 
there's a lot of cool people, a lot of nice people out there, and I just hope you know how sincerely I appreciate it. I appreciate the paid requests. You have no idea how much that helps. I appreciate the, the gifts. They're incredibly kind, and I appreciate the kind words. You have no idea how much I appreciate that. So, Dark Metal Spider, thank you so much. Uh, I feel bad. They, I think you spent a, way too much money on me. But, thanks, man. I really appreciate it. Take care. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.